debilitating months, the gruesome murder of Sarah Wood has finally been solved. The culprit who was apprehended for a heinous crime was famous businessman Henry Wood, who was also accused of supporting a human trafficking organization. The same organization had been shut down yesterday on account of deluding women with the fake promise of education and trafficking those women to other colonial states. As reports go, it was said that Sarah Wood had discovered her father's dealings and threatened to expose them when she was brutally murdered by him. At present, he is serving a life sentence at the county prison of North Hampshire. The murder which left Scotland Yard in peril because of its precarious nature was solved rather swiftly by a private investigator by the name of Robert Brown. It is indeed shameful, Teresa, having a course in respectable quarters like ours. We have a church not a mile from here, and everyone in our family is baptized. I don't see a single god forsaken reason for having such a mournful gathering at our place. Albert! My mother died not a day ago. And you? about decide to go on and strike an argument about my dead mother in the house. Do you know why we can't have the funeral in the church? My dear Teresa, there is absolutely nothing which can be of any harm to either you or your dear brother Robert. Past midnight. The mood in countryside seems to be getting more and more sinister by the minute. And, and Robert is five hours late. Robert is not some weak, feeble, quiet boy, Teresa. And anyway, I have never made a man of the opinion that this great drama exists. Oh, uh, however, my dear old mom seems to believe that the spirit of Mrs. Brown is roaming the walls of a mansion and is running after my soul. Now, isn't that horrendous? Robert. Good evening, Albert. Can you believe all the rain we've been having? 
Mr. Jones, I must say the odds were ever against us throughout this journey. First, the rain got delayed because of all this downpour. We had to wait a good two hours before another one came rattling along. Hmm. London railway services are really in batters. Yes, indeed. But that's not all. We did our illustration only to realize that our coachman has absconded. Thanks to all this, my head keeps pounding. It's like someone is thumping it on the inside. Robert. I mustn't worry about all the baloney around here. Our mom had nearly lost her sanity the last time I paid her a visit. It's completely justified that she went to the kill herself. Teresa, you cannot be saying this, sister. Not you of all people. It's all over the goddamn papers. First, my beloved dog, Mark, and now. Robert, you mustn't take that. Don't go and proclaim it's a killer. Nemesis of no one. Heartless half to kill an innocent man. Robert, there isn't anything to worry about. Indeed. These mansion walls are impenetrable. You shall be safe here. Now you need is a good night's sleep, and you make up a cute mind to hunt that in your But I mean, if there is one. Oh, I almost forgot. The rooms are there yet. Let's find that God for us. Then the party cover must have caught himself a nice little cover. Take a look, daughter. 
with wanting to throw everyone out of this room, especially Mr. Jones. But prepare yourselves. I am going to find out which low life amongst you murdered us. What the hell with you pretending to be a Bobby? Still find out what happened to my hair, sir. Still find it out. What? Come along. Good Lord, what have you found here, this is? First mom, and now you too, Tessa. All throughout my life, you were always there for me. You were always cared. Please, Lord, let all of this just be a terrible dream.
Jones is not an easy customer at all. What? <laughs> three days? Three days before your mother died? This old lady came into this house. <laughs> and claimed that she was the landlady of this house. And said that dark clouds of agony and misfortune were about to befall the master. <laughs> Well, I was strolling over as usual. I am a very pale and beautiful butler, sir. Always do my chores and I never wake up late. Now, always make sure that the clothes have been cleaned and rinsed and washed. Yes. You don't want a bloody eye in your Just tell me how you found the body. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Well, I am a very pale and beautiful butler, sir. I always do my chores and I never wake up late. Now, always make sure that the clothes have been cleaned and rinsed. Just get to the bloody point. Well, and she stumbled into the room with a stomach in her knife. And collapsed out of the floor immediately.
Wiley wants to establish institutions where women are educated in the art of trade and economics. This could be revolutionary, Robert. This could, this could change the way history saw women. Tell me, what does Mr. Wiley speak for her? Yes. Finally, yes. I return to the glorious future. Robert, I'm nothing more than a maiden. Your career is hardly taken off. What has been happening? Well, how shall I ask if money from thy king? From father? From father? No, he, he shall never agree. If, if I speak of such a proposition, he will have me married to some wealthy lad over three Robert, I cannot. Nadia Governor, we watch your father's dreams flourish. Your doors drown. No, Robert, you know me. I love you. And you will do what is good for the both of us. The world is full of sinners, Sarah. Nothing will matter anymore. And I walk up to your porch and ask Mr. Wood for your hand. Okay, did you just? Yes, madam. Know you not to be a woman who will yield her passions for a man like me. You shall take my hand on the other of you, please. Through your joy, I shall find my death. Robert. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
clown and so close. I want you know it before you lose my mind. Robert, Robert, you very bastard. That little kid, David, he worships you, he looks up to you, and you treat him with such mistrust and animosity. You really set that kid up to take the fall for you. Thank you, Robert. It's going to be different. This time, I'll put the bullet through your head. I will avenge Sarah, even if it's the last thing I do.
Oh, you're kidding me. 
me tan de Dios. Dios que no. Dios mío, ya no. No, Alba, you have it all wrong. Ya no, ya no. Night. I followed you to your mother's house, wanting to do nothing <laughs> but kill her and watch you writhe in pain and suffering. That's it. So I was. And you killed Sarah. I waited in the ship for about an hour for you to leave. And as soon as you went, we passed it! Look what you put to my eyes. She was a dead, alive to his body. And that's what I knew. That you. You killed. You killed your own mother. I love my mom. I would never hurt Papa. That evening, I went to spend some quality time with her. I had a great evening with my mom. Then, 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 you must have passed in and you brutally killed her. Right? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. 
said, stop, stop!
This is uh, Everyone You Love, directed by Ipanika.